Well, we're at that time of year again. A really exciting time of year for everyone here at Nash and hopefully for you guys, we get to talk you through all the new items and additions to the Nash Tackle range. We're at the Nash 2022 trade show. I'm gonna take you on a tour of all the new items, talk you through some of their key features. For more information, head to our website and our social media channels. Without further ado, I'm gonna climb off this lovely balcony, go and show you in more detail. Starting with the brand new range of LR reels. There's three different models in the range, starting with the 6000, which is essentially a compact big pit reel or a mini big pit reel. In terms of its feature, it can couple up well with a scope rod as well as with a larger rod, and it's got great line lay and slow oscillation. A really smooth drag, and as the whole range is in keeping with it, has this lovely blue etching on the aluminium spool, which is obviously Nash colours through and through. Moving on to the 8000 model, that's pretty much a utility reel with regards to the spool dimensions, whether you're fishing a 12 foot rod or longer or a scope and you wanna chuck maybe that little bit further, that is perfect for absolutely everything. Again, super smooth in all aspects, lovely detailing on the spool and a super smooth drag. I have been fortunate enough in the last few videos, probably around about the six month mark to use, the 10,000, which is the biggest in the range. A lot of my fishing is on popular day ticket venues where I'm fishing with 12 and 13 foot rods, not necessarily the scope concept. And the long profile spool for me aids distant casting. It will definitely get you those bonus few yards. There's brilliant line lay, super slow oscillation. Again, the smooth clutch, it all works perfectly. It's a really neat package if you're fishing probably more customary, typical fishing on day ticket venues, as well as on syndicates or bigger pits. So definitely check that model out too. That is the brand new LR range of Nash Reels. Make sure you take a look at them and I'm gonna move on to something else. On to the Banklife Gazebo Basecamp Camo Pro. There's a little few features that are different from the original Gazebo. The first thing, I've said it, Camo Pro. The Camo Pro pattern has made it onto this. We've listened to your feedback. You love it, so it's here and available. The other addition is that the doorway and entrance, now you can have the peak ups to shield you from the rain and also the door open. Before, you couldn't do that. It was shut or all open or nothing. The biggest key feature is that the system has now become modular. So where the pods attach, you can now zip them so they're a shelter in their own essence. And also that allows you different options for entrances and exits to the system. So if you've got a particularly shaped swim or a bigger space, maybe you've got a friend who wants to use one of the pods as just a bivvy rather than a social tent, you can utilize, tinker and tailor it to whatever situation swim that you might find yourself in. It is really useful for that and can be adapted really easily. The final thing is the ground sheet. When the ground sheet's out, it creates a fully sealed system to protect you from rodents, snakes, any other critters that might want to get into the gazebo. It's really multidimensional. It can tailor to everybody and it really is an asset to the range in terms of its new development. Now, in terms of bank life accessories, we've got two new chairs in the range, starting with the one that I'm sat in, which is the high back lounger. It's a reclining chair that is the ultimate of comfort. We all like a bit of comfort on the back bank. You can lay right back, enjoy the sunshine, obviously with sun cream on, and it's got an inbuilt drinks holder here. Perfect for your soft drinks. On to the chair next to me. It's the Bank Life high back chair. We've got a standard version of this that's already available. This has a little bit more back support with the high back version, but has exactly the same pack down size. So it really does utilize and save space when you're packing on those long trips. In terms of more accessories, follow me. All our Bank Life stations now come with integrated camo shelving, which stays within the unit itself. So you don't have to attach it when you get out the other side of your trip 
and also the pack down size of all the units is a lot smaller. So it saves space when you're packing it into your van or car when you're on your trip and it means that you can get it out the other side quicker, pop it up and get fishing even quicker as well. Undoubtedly, probably our stars of the show have to be the new look T1 and T2 Titans. Now, we've kept the range in keeping with the Titan Hyde range. So we've got a standard T1 and T2. We've then got a T1 and T2 in a Camo Pro version. The Camo Pro itself is a slightly blown out version of the Hyde version. So it is unique, but it is in keeping with the same. And we've got the Titan T1, T2 Pro version, which is the olive version you can see behind me. What we've done is we've listened to customer feedback again and the head clearance on all of them is greater. So a lot of people were saying that they needed that head clearance when they were getting up and out of the bivvies. Obviously not much of a concern to me as I'm relatively short, but still a very nice feature and is something that obviously people wanted. In addition to that, on the T1 and T2 Camo Pro and the Pro version, we've got the infill vents at the back that can be adjusted, unzipped from inside as well as behind the bivvy itself. It's sort of a double mechanism to allow even more airflow to cool down in really hot months. In addition to that, if you're in humid conditions, which we have been in recently, where it's been raining as well and you want some ventilation, but to ensure that there's adequate drainage, there are real useful storm drains at the side of the bivvy, which you can initiate, which allow airflow as well as drainage. On top of that, they are in every single way in keeping with the Titan mantra of being ultra strong, durable, adverse to any weather conditions that you can throw at them and rock solid, which is exactly the reliability that you need in a bivvy in whatever conditions can be thrown at you when you're out on the bank. As a whole, the range has obviously been improved, but it's still an absolute testament. And if you're gonna get one of these bivvies, whether it be a T1 or be a T2, you certainly will not be disappointed. Onto a brand new venture for us, our boat life range. That's right, I said boats and we are doing them. We've got three different boats in the model, starting with the one that I'm currently sat on, which is the 180. We've got the 210 and the 320, which is the biggest in the range. As an option extra on the biggest of the range, the 320, we've got an air deck also, if that is your preference in terms of reinforcement. They are all easy to inflate, ultra easy to use. We've got oars that come with them. They fold flat against the body, so they're not gonna entangle any of your rods when you're going out there. Obviously, when you engage them, they're there for you to stay secure on the boat and maneuver yourself onto those spots. In addition to that, within the range, we've also got really nice guide ropes on the side, so when you're not fishing with your boat, you can have it securely tethered somewhere and make sure that it's not gonna drift off and out of your swim. It's also a good purchase point if you need to grab it. Also in the range, we've got two different outboard motors. We've got a 45 pound thrust and a 65 pound thrust motor to match with whichever boat size that you're gonna need for your particular venue or angling situation. And a really good extra that you need to get if you're having one of these boats is the auto inflate pump. Not only will that will ensure that your boat is adequately pumped up, but when it reaches the correct PSI, it will cut off, ensuring that your boat's optimized and ready to go. That is the boat life range. Get yourself on it, get yourself afloat, and enjoy some carping from a boat. Now, in terms of our TT range, we've got a brand new range of PVA products, starting with our PVA mesh. It's available in two different forms. We've got the Ultra Weave, so if you're using stuff like thin stick mixes or tiny pellet or maggots, that's the one, and then a standard mesh version. And they all come supplied in these lovely containers with a plunger to compact the mix and make tight bags. Aids casting also ensures that you get a nice dispersion of the bait when it's out in the lake bed. If you fish a lake with nuisance fish, bird life, or crayfish, you need to check out the claw cracker mesh and the claw cracker shrink. Essentially what that will both do, depending on which one you opt for, is protect your hook bait. That will give your hook bait more longevity. That'll keep it proof from those nuisance fish or those nuisance species that are around in your lake and ensure that you're not having to regularly recast, which can disturb your swim. 
Also, as an edge with the mesh, you can use it for alternative hook baits. You have a brilliant new particles range. You can put some of that particle in the mesh and use it as a very unique hook bait. There's a tip for you. Finally, onto my favorite, and that is the speed load solid PVA bag system. Nowadays, we all fish venues whereby you're not allowed to pre-tie your PVA, solid PVA bags on leaders, and you have to use ready tied on the bank PVA bags. These are perfect. Not only does the lid of the container act as a scoop for your pellet, but also the system allows you to tie those bags really quickly, get those bags out onto showing fish, and hopefully nick yourself some quick bites. That is the new PVA range. On to Alan Blair's very own love child, his scope clothing range. We pretty much gave him free license, budget, and time to develop a range and he has never, ever disappointed. It's an unbelievably comprehensive range of clothing, all under the scope banner, all meshed to his particular angling style and application. I'm gonna pick out three items that really stand out for me. The first, no, we're not at a theme park and it's raining, is the scope poncho. Not only is it great for staying waterproof, especially if there's a instant quick downpour that you're not expecting but it doubles up great as a mini shelter and a barrow cover in emergencies on to the crew neck knit scope jumper everybody loves a chunky net it's ultra carpet it looks the business probably too good to wear out on the bank one for the pub i think finally on to the waterproof smock now not only is it element waterproof looks the business with the scope patterning and the camo but it has a brilliant additional feature of this zipping insect mesh sometimes on summer evenings you're setting up you're trying to watch the water and you've got all sorts of midges buzzers and all sorts in your face simply put the zip up that blocks them out you can concentrate wholeheartedly on your fishing and hopefully catch yourself a few bonus fish or not miss a few shows. That is the brand new Scope clothing range. Finally, onto our latest addition in the alarm range and that is the R3 Pluses. You'd have all heard of the original R3s. We've basically updated these to keep in keeping with the R4s and the R2s in terms of technology. What the alarms have is they have four different volume settings on the alarm head. They have five different interchangeable LED colors that are within each head. So you don't need to buy separate heads for separate colors. You can do it all here through each alarm head. They also have five different tone settings so you can customize them to your particular favorite tone. And they are made to pair with the Night Glow accessories. Here I've got some Night Glow bobbins. Uh, there's also a Night Glow swinger arm, depending on what your preference of indicator is. And essentially, not only do they sound, sound on your matching receiver, but they also beautifully illuminate for you to see and distinguish which rod you've got to take on in the middle of the night, which is brilliantly useful if you're anything like me and you're fishing free rods on a spot, you wake up in a bit of a blur, you can't really miss it. They're a really smart piece of kit. There are three different sensitivity settings and all feature speed sensing technology. So none of the features of the original R3 have lost. We built on it. They're all singing, all dancing. They need to be in your kit if they're not already. That pretty much concludes my tour of the Nash 2022 Roadshow. Obviously, as I've said before, if you need more information on any of the products, check out our website and our social media channels. Thank you all for watching. I hope it's not been too much of a bore. I'm sure it hasn't been, honestly. And I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Cheers.